All right, so we got a 2003 F-150, 142,300 miles. The check engine light is on. And we have a P0155 Bank 2 Sensor 1. Now on the Ford trucks, Bank 1 is the passenger side, Bank 2 is the driver side. So, Bank 2 Sensor 1 heater circuit. So I'm underneath the truck here, and if you follow the exhaust, you're going to see this oxygen sensor right there. What we got to do is we got to check the heater resistance. So we're going to follow that all the way up. I'm going to try to get you in there. And there's the connector for it. So we're going to unplug that connector and then we're going to check the resistance of the heater. All right. So what I've done is I've disconnected the connector from there and I have put my, my pin specific connections on there and I've ran it to my multimeter and what I'm going to do is you have to find the right wires so if you can see in here on the back of it there's different color wires this one is a let me try to focus in there that's a gray wire we have two white wires and then we have a black wire so you want to find the two color wires that are the same color uh, on this Ford it ends up being the two white sometimes they're um, different colors there's a blue wire a black wire um, but on this on this application, it's the um, the two white wires. So I plugged in there, and I have my meter set up. It's going to be on ohms. I just want to check the resistance of the heater. So when we come down here, we'll look in here. We have open circuit on a 400 ohm scale. Um, the spec on this is probably somewhere around 8 to 10, 12 ohms. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to plug my leads into a known good sensor, which I have right here and I'm going to check the resistance of that. So I have plugged my leads into a OE Ford Motocraft uh, oxygen sensor and as you can see here I have 9 ohms on this heater so I'm confident that a uh, oxygen sensor is going to fix this. So what we have to do is we're going to take a 22 millimeter or a 7 8 and you're simply going to Put it on the sensor. We have to go this way. And you're just gonna break it free. Wow, that one broke free nice and easy. Uh, they're not always that easy. Sometimes you gotta fight with them. But I'll get this changed out. We'll get it plugged in. So the new sensor is installed. It is properly routed around any metal objects or cabling. And it's, um, it's plugged back in nice and secure. So we're going to bring this down and we will clear the code, take it for a road test. So what we're going to do now, after we put the oxygen sensor in, we need to clear the code. A quick tip if you're trying to set readiness monitors is don't shut the key off. Keep the key on and um, I'm actually going to road test it with the IM readiness monitor. So I'll show you real quick here. You'll see, let me put it as a graphic instead of just PIDs. You'll see that there's a bunch of red X's. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take it for a ride and then I'm going to confirm that I fixed the car because the O2S and HRT, they should run. I should be able to get all of these monitors in one drive cycle. But if you leave the key on after clearing the code, it'll actually bypass the EVAP soak timer. So you can actually almost get the EVAP monitor to run as well. Okay, in just a few short miles, I was able to get all of the readiness monitors complete. So... Uh, this thing would actually go through state inspection and uh, in New Jersey you're allowed all but one in 2001 and newer so this has just one red X which means that it would pass state inspection uh, the cat is the catalyst monitor uh, this is one right here um, the heater is what we just repaired so you can see the green check mark 
and then up top, at least on my code reader, um, there's no DTCs, there's no pending. So um, this one's good to go. Once again, this is a 2003 uh, Ford F-150 with the 4.6 liter engine. So if this helped you, uh, leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe, uh, all of the above, and uh, let me know that this helped you. Thanks.